Hello guys, welcome to my channel Learn Tech. This is Sandeep Kohl here. Hope you guys are all doing good. So today's topic uh, which I am going to take is on one of the applications from BMC called BMC Release Management. I hope people who are working on uh, change management or who are uh, you know working in the change management process they would uh, you know have a knowledge of a release process so release management is basically how you deploy or how you move the changes from uh, your lower environments or development to the production system or uh, in you know in ideal scenarios or in ITL terms how you uh, release a change in the production so now in in, in BMC remedy we have a application to manage this so you know in 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 uh, release management uh, there are multiple things which has to be you know done before you uh, finally implement this release or you move it to the release uh, sorry you move it the release to the production so this all can be taken uh, care through the release management now in <coughs> today's video we will uh, we will see uh, how bmc release management works and how it functions uh, in relationship with change management and other things that we will uh, see in today's video okay so let Now the console for the release management it is similar to the uh, consoles for incident problem change I will not you know detail any information on this because it is similar to what we have already discussed so we will directly focus on the release management now I will give you a practical scenario when the release management will come in picture for example let's suppose uh, there is an uh, you know uh, incident raised regarding some issue in a particular location okay so the network on that location is facing certain issues now after you know we uh, debug the incident or we do the analysis so what happens uh, there's a workaround that we restart the server and then it fixes the problem but it's just a workaround we have now what we do we provide this workaround we uh, resolve the incident and then what we do we raise a problem ticket do the analysis of the uh, actual problem then this problem ticket will be created and then the team will work on the problem they will find out the exact cause of that particular issue for example they have come to know that there is a uh, you know software upgrade to be done on the uh, server there is some uh, software which is uh, you know currently outdated or the version of that particular software needs to be updated now uh, any changes on the environment or the infrastructure that means it's a change process so we will raise a change so change will be raised to uh, you know do the changes on the you know on that particular server so then the change will follow its own life cycle we have already discussed this in the change management process now <coughs> after the change is finalized that we have to do the changes in the environment now how we will deploy this in uh, in actual uh, you know environment live environment so then this release management comes in picture what you do you create a release so from the console I have just created a new release uh, now this is a you know a question to discuss uh, whether the release should come first or change should come first or vice versa it can be either of them you can use initially as a release uh, you know um, ticket then in that you will have changes multiple changes and then you will release it in production or you can initially you know use change management and then in that you will uh, once the change goes into implementation stage then you raise a release and then it gets implemented so this is just an uh, you know um, uh, as per our convenience we can use it in the organization also I have seen like people use different uh, ways of doing the uh, the changes in the environment so let's not uh, concentrate on that this was just for the information let's move on to the release management now when this uh, I have created a new release so you will see here there are different stages of the release initiate planning build test 
deployment closed down so initiate you all know that it is just the initial stages of the release you have to just initiate a release then it will go in planning so you will plan your release like what sort of activities you need to do in that release there will be multiple activities you have to perform in that release there will be different tasks you will be doing in the release then you build uh, once this is all planned then it goes into the build stage that means you built your release you will basically there will be some packages built there will be some softwares which are you know um, <coughs> made ready to move so you know this all um, functionality is built means you are building something for the particular change then um, we move on to the test phase so we do the testing of what we have already built and finally the deployment happens now we will see how this uh, release management cycle works so let me first of all create a release ticket so again you have to de designate a you know uh, a release ticket so let's suppose this is related to network then server software upgrade okay then uh, i would say business justification you can see there are multiple um, options here corporate strategy business unit strategy maintenance defect upgrade enhancement customer commitment these are different uh, options you have here let's suppose we will say uh, maintenance so this is our uh, option okay so then afterwards these are the basic you know options we have to select here target date when you are supposed to do this release then impact and urgency you know it is the uh, priority it will define the priority of the release the risk level is similar to change what is the risk level of this release if suppose this release goes in production what level of risk this carries then these are the initial milestone and status milestone means currently which status we are in so let me first of all create this release we will discuss the uh, the remaining items so now this release has been initiated i have received a release ticket it is initiated now what i will do uh, similarly in um, you know similar to other application this also has a work uh, details you can add your work details in this release and then you know then um, to basically do the you know logging of the release then categorization you will define the categories operational category product categories then manifest we will discuss so let me first of all move the change to the next stage so this was the initial stage of the change so where you basically you have initiated it let me again click on this so now uh, in initial um, so then now our status is registered that means the initiation has been initially registered i will move this to next stage now if there are any uh, approvals initia at the different stages it will go for approvals and then uh, it cannot be moved to the next stage unless and until it is approved so there are also approvals which can be used here in the release management but uh, if there are no approvals it will automatically move to the next stage now in the planning stage you do the plan you define your plan what you have basically <coughs> defined um, for the release if you have um, there is an provision to define you know the uh, milestones for the release if you have defined that it will come here in the manifest so you can see from here if i see if i want to see some plans for built click it refresh it so currently there isn't it's not showing anything but if you have uh, designated a plan this you can define in the uh, rule section there you will be able to define this but for us if you want to define during the release there is also an option let me see show you here if i say request type here i can define an activity here so what activity means that for example this uh, release you need to define something okay you have to do some before i go and uh, do the software upgrade i have to you know check server uh, let's suppose configuration similarly you can define multiple activities so uh, let me save this now you can see here <coughs> this uh, so now it will ask me to which milestone i need to add this activity to let me say in build stage so i have applied it so 
so I will close it okay now you can see in the build stage I have one activity similarly you can define activities at different stages for example initiate deployment planning test you can define your multiple activities uh, and also it's not only activities you can define you can also define here infrastructure change so if there are certain changes you need to include as part of the release that also can be done now uh, let me move on to the next stage which is built so now uh, we have planned our release we have defined the activities which needs to be done we have already uh, you know understood what we have to do as part of the release then what we do we built this so this stage will be the place where you built all this what has been already agreed up in the planning phase so you do do all the built operations here for example you can go uh, let's see if this task is you know open or not you can uh, close this task if the activity has been, has to be completed but i'll keep this task open and wanted to show you something in the end okay now let me again once the build phase is over I will move on to the test cycle so in the test itself you do the testing of uh, you know everything so you can see the approvals are here at the every stage but currently there are no approvals just to keep the you know video short I haven't added any approvals but you can add approvals um, through the approval section so once it is um, it goes for approval the approver has to approve it then only it can move to the next stage so now testing is in progress so if currently if somebody will come and want to see the change of the sorry status of this release he will see this is test is currently in progress that means we are doing the testing then once this testing is completed you are um, happy with the test everything is you know successful then we go for the deployment now for the deployment you need to define the dates <coughs> we will see the dates okay so uh, let me go here in the date section okay now this is the uh, um, you can say the information you have to be filled in so deployment start date and date you need to define then request availability date means uh, when this release will be available target date when the you are like planning to complete it then completed date means when the release will be completed so automatically this will be filled okay then schedule started and stay this will be like initially when you are planning building that time you can define the schedule start and end it but then when the actually the release uh, was done this can be defined here in the actual and start and end. then it takes the time duration it will calculate it that how what is the time time duration for this <coughs> okay and these are some system information now uh, we have already gone into deployment phase let me go to the next stage okay now if I'm trying to close this uh, release now so what it says please complete all the open activities and change requests related to the release. So it will not allow you to close the release unless and until you finish all your activities okay so I need to go here I need to open this activity so it will be take me to the activity and from here I have to you can see uh, initially my activity was in draft state but when I moved to the uh, from uh, you know move to the uh, build stage it got assigned that means it is uh, that our tasks are automatically assigned when you are in planning stage you will create the uh, these um, activities and then it will be in draft stage and once the release moves to the next stage I would say in the build stage then it gets assigned to their respective teams and then they will receive notification and they have to do their tasks <coughs> now I cannot move from assigned to directly to completed I have to move to in progress first this is again a restriction here then from uh, in progress I will move to completed okay now if I have to move this to completed I need to provide the dates here also actual start and actual end date so let me give something some dates here okay we save this okay now my uh, my activity is completed let me go back so you can navigate here you can see here the status is completed now so now my activity is completed then I can go to the next stage which is the closing down of the release 
so this uh, release can be now there is also a closed on approval as I said approvals at every stage are available if you want you can use them now uh, I am in the completed stage my milestone is closed down that means it is already closing down now if I want to close it I have to directly select from completed to close okay and then I will save it or next stage it will now gray out my information so this I cannot now change now this completes the hub life cycle of a release management so this release management you know uh, although it is available from earlier versions of remedy people are not using it because they are not familiar with this but otherwise it's a it's a part of that coupled you know process from uh, which you know originates either from incident or service request finally to the you know place where we are making changes in the environment so this is all related in incident problem change and release like I gave you an example of uh, how a change can be initiated from incident okay so then finally you can use the release management to deploy your code to the production environment or deploy your release to the production environment so this is how the release management works so this was it it for the release management I hope you have liked it you can explore this more maybe I have missed something you can you know uh, utilize it in your environment and then you can make use of this application thank you